Hey brothers and sisters, it's Gina here, Cosmic Bodyguards. Welcome to my channel. Uh, a quick episode tonight. I uh, just wanted to talk to you guys about rapid accountability, um, building your discernment, um, how coming to God with the right questions and the right problems, knowing what to go to God with, um, and, and also building self-esteem, building a sense of self, building... Um, quality and value. There is videos on YouTube going around right now that are um, exposing this man named Kevin Samuels, who is, he has a big YouTube channel. And I believe what he talks about is, um, he talks to men and women. He talks about how to be a high quality man. And I have run in those circles before. I've seen videos, I've probably produced a couple videos like that. I believe, um, whether I've posted them or not. Um, we have a, people exposing this gentleman right now as a fraud, and I am trying not to get caught up in all that because I have no idea if he's a fraud, and I just don't care. I just don't care if he's a fraud. I don't, I don't, it doesn't change anything for me either way, um, but I do know he has amassed quite a following of people who look at him. They really look up to him. I believe his nickname is The Godfather, which I mean, get your own nickname, you know, get your own brand, basically. And I, well, hi, say hello. This is Marley. She's saying hi today. Um, you know, I, I do think he's a little bit of a knockoff. I get weird vibes from him. I think he's, I watched five minutes of one of his videos, if I'm honest, and I thought, it just doesn't do anything for me. He has an unkind presence. Uh, he doesn't seem to have any connection to God or belief in God. He doesn't reference God, any kind of God. He doesn't reference Christ. And he has like the same three photographs in, in, his, in his photos. They look like they were taken with the portrait um, lens on an iPhone. And, and he's just... He's not even looking at the camera, you know, he doesn't even make eye contact with the camera. He doesn't look straight into that camera and he does not talk to you. You know, he, he, you know, he has women come on his channel and he, um, he rates them. And that's my number one thing where I'm like, I'm not going to give that my attention because he, he goes based on the value system of a number system, a scale of one to 10 for a woman and a man. And he also talks of things like sexual marketplace value, um, which I think is such a toxic way to view the world. I think it is just so limiting, you know, women having this sexual marketplace value because they have a child, because they're divorced or because they make such and such amount of money. Women are damned if they do or damned if they don't under that paradigm, under that. And, and it, it is so absent of God. I mean, it is so absent of God. And where there is no God, there nobody's infused with true value, with true quality. I mean, um, I see boys, make, these young men making these videos saying, I'm not high quality yet because I only make $40,000 a year. And so, you know, maybe ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 more a year. And I'll, you know, I know I'll be at the next level of quality. No, honey, no. Let me tell you something. You know, and the people who are enmeshed in this way of thinking, it's really hard to even say what I'm about to say, which is you are all quality. You are literally from every hair on your head, every pore in your skin, whether every, every, potential hair in your scalp, whether you have hair or not, you know, everything, your eyes, your nose, your mouth, your breasts, your vagina, your penis, your hands, your heart, your lungs, your cells, your DNA, it is all valuable. It is value. It has unnamed value, uncountable value because God, our Lord, Christ, the creator created you. You're here, you're breathing. It, that is proof enough. You don't need to have a certain number before you end up, before you are deemed um, valuable. And, and you're watching this man who's in these like suits and he's kind of like, 
and you've started to associate because you like the way you feel when you when you watch him and and I believe he does something called the the bliss point, which is what they do when they're creating food in like labs, like making cheez its for instance, you know cheez it crackers it, they say um it's called the bliss point in the food industry where it's it's salty and sweet enough. It gets you to where um, you want to keep eating more of it, right? And in dating in these circles of these high quality, high value alpha masculine videos and stuff and, and women, high value women videos, uh, they ta I've heard the bliss point referenced as how women should be. They should be somewhat salty and somewhat sweet and like want to keep a man wanting more. It's so manipulative though. If you have to watch all those videos and stuff and and that's your reference point, uh, that's your intuition, you don't actually have a connection to your true own intuition, um, you are not fully living, but you are still valuable. See, you're conflating, oops, you're conflating a uh, value with value and quality with substance, right? Uh, with, with the connection to life, with the connection to yourself, with your promise. Um, and so these boys, the young men, they go and they watch Kevin Samuels and he has the bliss point um, activated in these dudes and some of these women where some of the stuff that Kevin Samuels is saying um, it resonates with them. And then just a smaller percentage of what Kevin, Kevin Samuels says um, triggers something in them that they disagree with. So it gives them a, a little bit of space to where they have to like work harder to achieve some kind of um, success in Kem Kevin Samuels' paradigm. But Kevin Samuels, he is an I image consultant. That's supposedly what his job is. And he's a businessman a fashion consultant. He has no business license and uh, there are other, you know, s stuff going around about him. Uh, I, I Honestly, I don't really know. Okay, I probably sound kind of foolish because I don't really know my facts. I wasn't even meaning to talk about this today. What I'm talking about is these young men watching his channel and he's done so much for them. There's just no mention of God. Uh, a high, high quality woman is going to come in their life and activate them, but because she's not matching up with the paradigm that Kevin Samuels has laid down, it's going to trigger them to want to run away because they're going. It's going to um, it's going to disagree and cause tension with that belief system that they've come to believe from their godfather that it's not. He's not going to naturally approve, uh, and so he's going to be all self conscious. And the thing is, I mean, he is missing so much of what that woman is, could bring to him. You know, he might be, you know, she could lead him closer to God. We tend, look how she snuggled up in my armpit. You know, when I meet a man, uh, because I serve God, I worship God, I love God, I try to embody God's grace, and I try to obey the commandments, and it matters to me, I think about those things. You know, it's like an empathy, you know, cultivating, cultivating empathy. So whenever somebody comes around me, they are getting closer to God just, just by being around me. Not saying that I am God, but God does live in me. I invited God in and I, I, I facilitate godliness, Christ, Christ-likeness. And that, um, you're making Kevin Samuels your Christ right? And you're lacking purpose in your life. Really, that is what this is. It's, it's, it's creating the image, the illusion of value. It's, it's creating the image of uh, the illusion of substance where, honey, if you're 24 years old, you only have 24 years of substance. Oh, my guy's calling me. You only have 24 years of substance. You know, you don't, you need to just be patient, damn it. You need to go to Christ, ask God to put you in the right scenarios, to put you in, in, in the right places at the right time. You also need to get some work going, do some projects, you know, men or women. Look at what I'm doing right now. I got, I went and bought a sander, I bought two. 
I bought a circular one. I bought a square one because <laughs> I'm just curious. And I have my cat and she's helping me. I have my safety supplies. You know, that is substance. This is creating something inside of me. It's activating um, growth inside of me. And I feel closer to God when I'm working. I'm working on a shelf right now. God was supposedly, or Jesus was a carpenter, right? So it's like, already I just feel closer to Christ. And through that closeness, through that being in touch with Christ and, and my own life force that was given to me, that creates a tunnel, creates a pathway for the right men to come walk into. And so even like men like my um, ex-boyfriend who ended up attacking me, um, I wouldn't say that whole relationship was toxic. You know, there was a certain point of no return where I, I made some choices that were really not great. And I take responsibility for that, you know. And there were a couple exit points where something in me said, you need to exit now. This relationship has served its purpose. And now it is becoming run by the devil. And and if you do not leave this relationship, it's going to end very poorly. And this man that you're with does not have the capacity or the strength to exit. And this is, and you know that the fact that you can articulate this, the fact that you're in touch with this intuition within you tells me that you are at the helm of this relationship. Um, and now you're trying to be godly. You're trying to be controlling and and make it right. You can't recover what you guys had before. You can't recover the bliss point, the honeymoon phase that has ended. It has served its purpose. There was a point where he was in the right place at the right time, and so was I. But, um, you know, I believe in these relationships, nothing is an accident. Nothing's an accident. And um, you, you know, if you can live your life that way and say, God, always has a purpose for me every single day. I trust and I surrender to that. Um, I, tr I surrender control. And God, I trust that God leads me to be in the right places at the right time. And nothing is an accident. Nothing is a coincidence. Um, you know, wow, that is so much substance already because you're treating everybody in life around you like they have innate value because they do. It's not about what they can offer you. It's just the fact that you are connected to God and God would never, ever, ever lead you anywhere astray. He would never lead you anywhere that where you were not supposed to be. The only way you can end up in a situation that you're not supposed to be in is when you try to take the reins. You try to contend with God and you try to, you try to trump God. You try to make your own choices in that way. You try to decide what's value and what's quality. No, honey. Um, what do you need to do in your life to wake up every day without it even being a thought that you are valuable, that you are high quality? I mean, because if it's based on how much income you have, how much you have in your Robin Hood account, you know, your investment account, or you're living ahead, you're not even living in the life you have today. So when that life comes that you've, you're desperately trying to build, um, how, you're not going to know how to live in it then. You see, it, you need to practice every day living in the life that you actually have, <laughs> experiencing the growth of your life building up every single day. And uh, understand that was because of the choice you made to, to be present with that, but also because you're not in charge. You know, there is so much freedom that comes when you surrender your control to God and Christ and and the creator um because you actually get to just relax and you get to know that you are a valuable vessel and and that you you are here every single day for something you are here every single day for something and sometimes you'll be persecuted in life sometimes you're going to be persecuted the bible promises um you that if you're living in christ's word because people of the flesh hate people who are living with Christ, you know, people who hate you no matter what, they hate your light. They just hate your light. And, um, you know, even though I've had a couple relationships that ended poorly, I would say, um, 
that's my worldly view. That's my, my controlling view of the girl who didn't get her way. I wanted to marry that person or like I wanted to marry my ex-boyfriend. And, and so in my small minded brain, um, I think, oh, well, I didn't get my way. We didn't get to get married. So that relationship wasn't good. No, God assures me in, reassures me in my heart every time that thought comes up that that is a baloney. It's baloney because that man is better off for having been with me. Um, you know, we're all brothers and sisters. We are supposed to be serving one another. We are, he might not be right for me, but I helped prepare him for the right one and he helped prepare me more, more for the right one. That innately is just substance right there. That thinking, it relieves you of so much pressure. Um, you know, you do need some tension and pressure uh, to keep growing. But a group of men and Kevin Samuels or somebody like him, um, you know, group, groups like that, what was I going to say? Oh, well, so, oh, well, anyways, I lost the thought, so it's okay. Um, it wasn't a fully formed thought anyways. You know, I don't regret any of my relationships at all. Not even the wannabe pimp. I kind of, I love him in some weird way. I love him too. Um, it lasted several months. My relationship with him lasted longer than the one I had with the the one before him. <laughs> it's crazy. It didn't seem like that, but you know, man, isn't life amazing? You know, there are, God is not always testing us. God doesn't test us like that. Um, you want to be a high quality man. You want, it's not about that you are a high quality man. you you do something and then you become a high quality man. You are a high quality man. What do you need to do to know that? What do you need to do every day to wake up knowing that? And that pressure is out of the way so you can go do God's work. So you can go be a light in the world. So you have this, these hands, you have this heart. And I think that energy in men lately is building up a lot. There's this creative masculine energy. It's, it's building up and it wants, it wants to propel out in the world. You know, it wants to go make a difference. It wants to go create legacy. It wants to create civilization. That is what you were gifted with. And women, I think there's a restlessness in a lot of us too because we, we have been trained to not receive that anymore. We, we don't know how to recognize when a man is providing us um, substance. And, but we are innately valuable. Um, God created us and... And you can't argue with that. I mean, it's so much bigger than you. So you could spend your life spinning your wheels, but you're going to get to some ending point and we all go in the grave. We all go. I mean, you know, how are you? You want caviar, but you don't know how to even eat the peach that's right in front of you today. So, you know, you want the fancy sports car, but you can't keep your Toyota Corolla clean. You can't keep it maintenance. So what, how are you going to know quality when you see it, when you know that you finally received it? Um, when is it enough? And, and when will you finally know that you are enough, no matter where you are in life, you can get way up high in your own image. God knock you down. It happens. We see it with Kevin Samuels. We fly too close to the sun you get burned. It's the, it's the facts of life. It's always been that way. Rome fell, America will fall. Uh, you know, and I just, I really just, you know, get a damn piece of wood and start working it, you know, get off the YouTube, get off the internet and, and put, put your body to work, you know, in a way where maybe nobody will even see what you've created. It won't, produce any money for you or any prestige. It won't have any purpose for a woman or get you laid. But you know what? You were just, you know, you were moving your body. You have these hands, you have this heart, and maybe you go donate this shelf to a Goodwill. I mean, for nobody knows. You don't use it as a tax write-off. It is just 
something you did or you were close to God in the moment. It was infused with your heart, with your substance, right? I want you to think about that this week as you go on. And it, notice when you are living in some kind of paradigm, checking some kind of, ticking some kind of boxes off in order to, to, to be a certain percentage of high quality or value. You are value. You are all value. Uh, you didn't even ask to be in this world like you... <laughs> You are not in control and just release, release that control, build your empire today inside of you. You know, these women also, last thing, the women are not disagreeing with Kevin Samuel because they have their feelings hurt because we're ugly. We're disagreeing with him because he, he, because he's innately defending our, you know, he is offending our honor. And if a lot of women are saying, if he, what he's supposed to do is get you women and get you these high quality relationships and stuff, and a lot of women are agree, in agreement saying, uh, no, this is not, this, this is not a substantial man. This is, these are the guys that you feel like you've been raped after you've been with them who are treating women like whores, who are treating us, calling us out of our name, who are calling us bitches, who, who just want to get that nut, who just want pussy. Excuse me, mother. I know you're probably watching this. I'm sorry. I just, I don't mean to offend anybody. I, I mean, you are those guys. You're being those, Kevin Samuels is teaching you how to be those guys, right? And his whole theory operates under the bias that we women are all whores. That all women are whores. He'll never say it out loud like that. But, but what he is teaching is be a man who can afford whores. Because that's all women can offer you anyways is their whoredom. Brothers, please, please recognize you know, God is taking this man, exposing this man. All things that are dark will come out into the light eventually in some way or another. He's being exposed for a reason. Um, I believe he deserves to be exposed. Maybe he needs to go into a period of something that I call the humbling. He needs to reconfigure. He's being exiled right now. And the Bible says when you're being exiled, go to a new city. Get away from these people. So... This is very obvious from a biblical Christ-like standpoint, um, from a godly standpoint. You know, I can, I'm concerned for the boys, the men who watch this stuff and the women who believe in sexual marketplace value and like, oh my God, the minute you stop believing that, there's this rubber band effect in life, a snapback effect. And you finally have space to receive what God wants you to know about yourself. And so um, that's all I have to say for today. Build a damn shelf. Build substance within. Build substance with God. Ask God to be whatever Kevin Samuels is filling for you. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful week. You are value. You are gorgeous, beautiful. You have unnamed promise. Okay? Have a good, have a good week. Bye.